One shot and killed a 10-year-old who was riding in a car in South Memphis, and the killer is still out there. The family of Richard Jordan III says his death has left a hole in their hearts. They spoke to local 24 News reporter Annette Pegler, and she's live at Airways in Ketchum, where he lost his life a year ago. Annette? Katina, Memphis police say it's only received 17 tips so far about Richard Jordan's death, and none have led to a suspect. That family is hurting tonight, and they just want someone to come forward. We never gonna see him go to his first dance, his graduation, his high school prom. And I mean, ain't no one came forward with nothing. Frustrated would be an understatement to describe how the family of 10-year-old Richard Jordan III is feeling knowing his killer is still out there. I got a big old picture hanging on my living room. I look at him every day and talk to him and tell him, Dad, I love you. Jordan was killed a year ago today during a drive-by shooting at the intersection of Airways and Ketchum. He was in the car with his mother, another adult, and two other children. Surveillance video shows two cars, a black Chrysler 300 and a gold Chevy Malibu connected to the case. But Memphis police haven't been able to find them. I don't know what the motive was. The, the adults in the car could not give a reason why. The chances of just being at the same location at the same time, no, someone knew something was going on with this. Jordan loved playing football. His favorite food was peanut butter and jelly, and his favorite class was speech. His family remembered his short life Tuesday night and released balloons in his honor. I know there's someone out there that knows something. I know the person who did it conscious got to be eating them up. And if you have any information that could help Memphis police solve this case, please call Crime Stoppers. That number tonight, 901-528-CASH. Reporting live in South Memphis, Annette Pegler, Local 24 News. All right, thank you, Annette.